Hello, my friends. Yes, it is me. It is I. I want you folks to do something for me. If it's not too trouble to ask, I want you to rise up, get up, and tell yourself you're going to have a wonderful day, an awesome day, the best day of your life. And no matter what obstacle, no matter how difficult, complicated, the journey, even if you feel like nothing is going right, no matter how you, what you do, how much effort you put, no matter if you give it your 100%, just keep getting knocking down, knocking down. Um, at times you feel overwhelmed. You want to give up. Throw in the towel. But no, not you. Not ever. You tell yourself, get up, rise up, and overcome that obstacle. Let's finish this journey. Tell yourself, I don't get weaker, I get stronger. I don't slow down, I get faster. I don't get frustrated, I get more focused. I don't give up, I get more determined. And at the end of the day, you call yourself, I'm a world champion, and you're gonna give that fist of Champions. I'm gonna give the fist of champions. Hi, my name is Bam Bam Bam! Hi, my name is I Rock, and y'all watching my YouTube channel, I Rock RC. Alright! Aloha, every. Why? Yes, it is me. I rock the original, the one and only, never duplicated, and but very complicated. Yes, I am very complicated. <laughs> yes, I am. I rock. Hello, my friends. How are you folks doing today? Uh, today's video is all about a box. Yes, I have a box. Now, are you ready for an unboxing? But first, the trusty razor. Remember folks, when handling sharp objects or razors, please be careful and do not injure yourself or cut yourself. And for those who are under the age of 18, please get your parents' permission. Now let's go do this unboxing. Ah, before I do this unboxing, um, I just need to let you know, uh, let you folks know where I got this box from. I got it all the way from Florida. Yes, Florida. Uh, Sarasota City. Anyone in Sarasota City? Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> well, anyway, if, where you're from, um, well, wherever you're from in the world, no matter if international, uh, I'm not going to name all the countries, but whatever country you're from or wherever province, um, in the States, the uh, United States city, give yourself a pat on the back. Yes, give yourself a pat on the back. And give yourself a fist of champions. Yes, this is my fist of champions. Um, if you watch sports, <coughs> I'm sorry, if you watch sports, uh, for me, um, growing up, my two favorite sports was uh, football and basketball. Uh, in basketball, I was a big Michael Jordan fan. Um, I, you know, I gotta say, the uh, greatest basketball player who ever lived. Uh, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, when, 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 the, when the game was on the line, <coughs> and, he, you know, and his team needed that, um, that he's gonna take the last shot and he's do or die, um, you know, he always came through in a clutch. He overcame adversity, he overcame obstacles. And when he makes that shot, he always goes either like this and then like this. So I call this the Fist of Champions. Because you're gonna come overcome any adversity, any obstacles, 
in your life. Um, and then you always can give yourself a pat on the back and the fist of chaplains. So, without any further ado, oh, yes, Sarasota, Florida, is where this box came from. Shipped all the way to uh, my state, Hawaii, um, my island, big island, uh, city, Kailo Kona. Uh, but it's, and I ordered this package from www.getfpv.com. Yes, uh, getfpv. Um, if you haven't visited Get, Get FPV, um, they're pretty much the main distributors for Luminaire, uh, one of the top of the line or top brand uh, racing drones. Um, they make frames, uh, motors, brushless motors, ESCs, um, uh, cameras, uh, video transmitters, uh, you name it. Uh, they're one of the top brands in uh, racing drones, quadcopter, quad racer. So, let's go do this unboxing. So, here we have is the invoice. Package paper. Um, let's see, what should I start off with? First, oh, yeah. I bought me uh, a set of four um, gem fan five by three propellers, three blade. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Yeah. So um, let's see how many packs did I get? One, two, three, four, five. I got twenty. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, sorry, fifteen. Yes, I first initially put twenty, but I brought it down to fifteen. 13, 14, 15. So 15 gem, um, gem fan, 5x3 propellers, 3 blade. Um, uh, set of 4. So, we don't care about propellers. And next I have... In box is a uh, 2 millimeter bullet plugs or connectors for wiring. Then I have is a uh, anodized prop nuts. Um, Luminaire M5 red aluminum low profile lock nuts set of four counterclockwise. So anodized red and anodized blue. Next we have in the package. Is a layer lens for GoPro um, 3 and 4 by Luminaire. So it pretty much protects your lens um, in the event of a crash. Yeah. <laughs> well, in my case, meow. <laughs> yup, straight in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> and then we have is a oh, okay, a tattoo. Uh, 1300 milliamp, uh, 3S, 75C, oh no, let me start over. It's a tattoo, 4 cell, 14.8 volts, uh, 1300 milliamps, um, 75C burst, no, 75C constant um, discharge rate, and 150C burst. Got all that information? So, yes. Less is more. And you can check out the batteries at www.tattoo.com. Want to check a look at the batteries? Let's go check a look at the batteries. Let's go, let's go take a look at the batteries. <clears throat> so, pretty small size uh, LiPo battery, 4 cell. Probably the smallest 4 cell battery I ever saw in my life. Size of my hand. Um, 1300 
uh, Milan's probably gave me about eight minutes of flight time. Well, it all depends how much full throttle I use. So that's the Apple battery. And then I have is a uh, from Luminaire, a TX 5G6 32 channel. 5.8 gigahertz, 600 milliwatts, AV transmit. Kablamo, or ta da, ta da. Let's see. There you go, trusty razor. Oh man, this bug is small. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna take it off, but check that bad boy out. Should get a pretty good uh, range with this transmitter. 600 milliwatts, that's pretty good. Not too shabby, not too bad. So that is the AV transmitter by Luminaire. Or Luminaire. Luminaire? Luminaire. Luminaire. Next I have is a FPV video camera um, by Luminaire. Uh, it's a uh, CM-650 Mini-650 TVL camera, 25 by 25 millimeters. Um, CCD. Did I see that right? <laughs> this is the PAL edition, I think. I got the PAL edition. Um, not, the NT not the NSC. NTSC? NTSC? Ah, what the heck. So we have is a wire, it's like a ground power and signal. And instruction manual. Remember folks, before operating your uh, video camera, FPV camera, read the instruction manual. So we have the camera right here. Check that small one out. Yeah, pretty small. I know it's still in the plastic, I'm sorry. <laughs> And then we have is uh, adjustable um, tilt mount or camera mount, and it's like we have a, a controller. So pretty cool. size motor, um, 2000 kV. Uh, so, let me take it out of the box. <laughs> Man, you pack it pretty well. So, here we have is a uh, Mounts and uh, um, propeller uh, nut. Not really gonna get into that. Oh, and the screws. Uh, uh, screws to, uh, looks like a flathead screw uh, to mount the uh, uh, X mounts. I think that's what it's called. Sorry. I'm trying to think of, it, think of it on the top of my head, but um, this is for the propeller mount. So you screw this bug on to the motor, so that way you can, and then, you know, it spins the propeller. 
Information overload. I said information overload. Yeah. I did it too. As a wicked. <laughs> so here's the motor. A uh, pretty cool size looking motor. Yes, I know it's in the plastic. Um, but there's a reason for it. Uh, it comes with a three three millimeter bullet uh, connectors. Yes, that's the reason why I'm getting the two millimeter because I'm gonna change it out to the uh, these three millimeters to two millimeter bullet connectors. So yeah. Uh, so yes, I am planning to do a quadcopter build. So with a quadcopter, quad meaning four. Not do I. Not only do I have one. Not only do I have two, not do I only have three, but I have four condom. One, two, three, four, uh, Lumineer 2208, 2000 kV, brushes, motors. Yes. Quadcopter build coming soon to an IROC RC channel near you. Alright! So that's the motor. Um, do, I have any, do I have anything else in this box? Yes, I do. I do. Can you hear that? Yes. What's left in the box? Um, well, I have the brush in motor. Uh, I have the propellers. I have the video transmitter. I have the camera. I have the battery. I need the frame. Yes. Well, by the time by the time I tape this video or record it. Uh, I would have done the uh, unboxing of the Luminaire 210 Charpu uh, Unibody frame. <laughs> well, frame, but the, uh, the body is, uh, the bottom plate is called Unibody. Confused, yes. Sorry to confuse. But, so yeah, I have the frame, I have the motor, the brushless motors, uh, the propellers, uh, battery, uh, video transmitter, and, um, <laughs> like FPV camera. So I need the ESCs and the power distribution board. Oh no, the frame, frame comes with the power distribution board. Um, ESCs and flight controller. Yeah, I'm missing two things. So I need the ESC and flight controller. Yes, I have the ESC and flight, but I only have one more thing in, in this box. So let's go take a look what's left in this box. So here it is from um, TBS or Team Black Sheep. Yes, Team Black Sheep. Bah, bah. <laughs> earthquake, earthquake. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the camera. So from Team Black Sheep, I have is a TBS Park Cube Multi Rotor Stack. Booyah. Boo. Focus. Uh, here's a picture of the quad. Here's a picture of the quad. Uh, FPV aeroplane. And the sheep. Bah! Bah! <laughs> <laughs> that Arach is one crazy dude. No, I'm not on crystal meth or any drugs. Uh, I wouldn't know how a person would look like on crystal meth or any drugs. Uh, but some people do. <laughs> So here we have is a um, all wire wire connectors. Uh, looks like for a VTX uh, video transmitter five volt uh, for a camera that uh, is able to have uh, uh, capable of uh, handling twelve volts and a whole bunch of other ones. Um, I'm not really gonna get into the plugs. Oh, and it looks like there's a buzzer buzzer just in case you lose your uh, racing drone. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, buzzers don't work in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, yes. But they do work in the um, land, forest, trees, you know, any type of uh, hard surface. Just one flip switch, uh, a switch of the transmitter, and you can go locate your um, racing drone, your last racing drone, your crash racing drone. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're so funny. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna give you folks a quick look um, and very quick overview on this uh, TBS uh, Parq. Um, it's probably the next um, evolution in racing drones, and not only in racing drones, but uh, quadcopters, hexacopters, you, you name it, multi rotors. Row, row, cross, row, row, cross, row, row, cross, row, 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 cross. Um, so basically, what this consists of uh, on the bottom here, you have the P, D, D, yeah, P, D, B, power distribution, power distribution board, yeah, and then um, you have your four ESCs for each motor. Uh, Calabri, Calabri ESC. I think that's what it's called. Not too sure. I know it starts with a C. <laughs> but, what the heck. Um, now people are going to call me, he's so stupid, retarded, and a moron. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, if if calling, me a, calling me stupid, retarded, or moron makes you feel better and feel better, uh, feel like you're a better person than me, I'm all for it. It's not like it makes you a day. Put a smile on your face. That's the whole purpose of the IROC RC channel. But getting back to the TBS or the, and the, the power cube, um, yeah, so power distribution board, um, four ESCs, and then you have your flight controller. This is a F3. Um, I think it's a, uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Start over, you have your power distribution, P, uh, DB, power distribution board on the bottom. Then you have your four ESCs. They're not, they're not collaborative um, ESCs, they're actually black, uh, Team Black Sheeps, uh, if I can think on top of my head, um, it's a pretty cool name, oh my god, see me. When you're trying to get information, you just go blank. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, hmm. <laughs> What's the Team Black Sheep ESCs? Um, oh. Can't think of it on top of my head, but it's a, yeah, it's a, it has a pretty cool name to it. Sorry, um, <laughs> but uh, it's flash with um, B B B B L heli B L heli uh, one one shot and um, one shot and I don't know it has to do uh, uh, breaking, <sighs> but yeah, with one shot and. Hmm. Pause. Unpause. Okay, I'm gonna cheat here. So yes, I have my iPad. I wanna make sure I give folks the right information on this uh, park you. Uh, the flight controller is called the TBS Ka Calibri. Calibri. Uh, it's a STM thirty two F three zero three RCT six flight controller. I think it's similar to the SP thirty uh, two F three um, flight controller. Uh, Basically, when you compare it to a new NAS 32 Revision 6 or Rev 6, um, this flight controller uh, has more processing, faster processing um, power and um, a bigger flash memory. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, it has an MPU 6500 3-axis gyro, um, motor PWM, auto-connecting, PWM, one-shot signals. Bolt loader, tactile switch for easy firmware update, 5 volt for receiver, and um, FC over eternal bus system. So it's S bus supported um, for all you Futaba guys out there. To uh, make any adjustments, you can use Clean Flight um, version 1.11 uh, with BST and multi flash support. Okay, so that's the flight controller. Um, the ESCs, the ESCs are called Bulletproof. Bulletproof. TBS Bulletproof 20 and ESCs. Um, uh, the firmware is uh, BL Heli 14.2, uh, one shot active regenerative braking, safety cut off. Um, I'm sorry, let me repeat that. Okay, so firmware BL Heli uh, basically 4.2 uh, and it supports one shot 
and active and regenerative braking. All right, that's all we need to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So yes, uh, the power cube yes, uh, power distribution uh, distribution board, uh, bulletproof ESCs, twenty amp, and then the Calabri flight controller. So um, this is one badass uh, power cube. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but uh, reading upon making uh, doing my research and reading the information on it. Uh, compared to other um, ESCs and, or, and flight controllers out there, um, you know, like the Nase 32 Rev 6, which I have, I have several of them. Uh, I also have the CC3D. Um, um, what you get in here all in one is a pretty good package. Um, so, yeah, um, you have, you know, your US, mini USB connector, your UARTs, um, let's see what else here. GPS, um, mag, and out connectors, LED strip connectors, um, receiver connector, uh, then we have connectors for the buzzer, um, uh, again, UART, um, IR, LEDs, um, LED. So, yeah, all pretty cool stuff. Uh, like I said, it uh, supports S bus, um, and also PPM. Yeah, just basic information. And one thing cool about uh, this power cube, um, just in case you fry one of the ESCs, or hopefully you don't, uh, you just, uh, it's connected to these brass nuts. Um, and actually, these brass nuts, what they do is uh, they um, distribute the power throughout the um, power cube. Yeah? <laughs> it's like a connector. Yeah? It distributes the power to the power cube. Um, it's screwed down with these nylon um, nuts, and then you, you have your three millimeter, three millimeter uh, double sided tape to uh, protect it from any um, static. So yeah, so uh, but if you if you damage one of the ESCs or damage the flight controller uh, or even the uh, PDB or PB PBB PBB PBB, <laughs> uh, all you do is unscrew the nylon nut, nyl uh, these nylon nuts. And then you can remove each single one. Um, you have to also unscrew the um, brass nuts, and then whichever one is um, uh, in up, you can just replace it. Yeah. So uh, I I know that ESCs are numbered. Um, I have to look more into that. But I, like I said, I'm just gonna give you a brief uh, overview. Uh, I have, you know I just got this. Uh, I'm looking at this uh, TBS Park U for the very first time. I I, know I read a lot. I read I read. A lot on it. Um, you know, I did my research and finally decided. Well, it seems like a good choice to purchase. So, um, as I get more familiar with it and more information, I'll pass that knowledge on to you folks. <laughs> yes, that's why it's called an unboxing and first look. Um, you, you don't get it right the first time, um, but you try again, <laughs> and hopefully you get better and you understand how this uh, park you works. So it should be cool uh, in my uh, Lumineer uh, 210 Charpool Edition uh, Racing Drone build, which is coming very soon. Um, I'll probably do an um, introduction video uh, and then give you folks uh, a rundown on what I'm going to install on my uh, 210 uh, Lumineer Charpool Edition <laughs> Racing Drone. Um, and hopefully I can uh, get it to work power on, get the propellers to spin, and take off. And, <laughs> and hopefully catch some cool FPV footage. That's the goal, and that's the motivation. That was an unboxing, and first look at my, my teaser <laughs> of my uh, quadcopter build. Um, like always, I would like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for supporting my channel and watching my videos. Yes, without you folks, there will be no IROC RC. I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. So, to my next video, guys. Take care and God bless and aloha. Shaka. And I'm out. Hi.